we are building the drive shaft assembly. For this assembly, you're going to need a mechanum wheel with the universal hex adapter pre-installed, two 15 millimeter spacers, three three millimeter spacers, one long through bore bearing, two of the short through bore bearings, a shaft collar, a 90 millimeter length of five millimeter hex shaft, and a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench. To begin with this step, you're going to want to take your shaft collar and add it to the end of your five millimeter hex shaft. You want to make sure that this is going to sit flush with the end of the hex shaft as all the measurements for things will be off of the hex shaft itself. So just make sure that this is nice and flush. Then you're going to want to take your mechanism wheel and slide that onto the hex shaft. The mechanism wheel, it's not important if you're using a left or a right mechanism wheel as all of this is just being used for spacing and will be removed later on during the assembly. Next you're going to want to add a three millimeter spacer followed by the long through bore bearing. After the long through bore bearing is going to be the short through bore bearing. You want to note the location of the flanges of the through bore bearings as it's really important for later on in the assembly. Both of them are facing away from the shaft collar end. After this is complete, you're going to want to add a 15 millimeter spacer followed by another 15 millimeter spacer and the last of your three millimeter spacers. Once that's complete, you're going to want to take the remaining short through bore bearing and slide that into place. It's important to note that the flange on this through bore bearing is in the opposite orientation of the ones that you put on earlier. This will be important further on in the assembly. Once this is done, the drive shaft assembly is complete. You're going to need to repeat these steps one more time to get a second drive shaft assembly.